So I gave my initial reaction last night about the Kiki Palmer situation, but I want to kind of delve deeper into that since I'm ready to share a little bit of, you know, what I've been through. One thing is for sure and two things are for certain, that man is a hater. And he calculated that by putting a baby in her, that he would be able to slow down her progress and make her look like a fool in front of the world. He already knew that by impregnating her before making her wife, that she would already be up against so much scrutiny from her fan base and from people who really never even really paid attention to her before. He got the Mary Before You Carry tribe all up her ass. He knew the mothers of the church was going to be all up in her business. And he felt like that now he would become the prize because the pressure was going to be on to marry and do the right thing. So basically, she's just dangling there after providing him with a child, waiting, wishing, and hoping that he would offer her a ring. It was a power move that he thought put him in the driver's seat. Even though she out earned him by 10 times, you know, she's more famous than him. She has more going on than him. He thought that he was in control now. And yeah, he posted her several times before twerking and in revealing outfits and things like that. But that wasn't for her. That was for him. That was to boost his own ego. And another reason might have been to kind of quietly shame her. So like, look what she's doing. You know, she's pregnant and here she is acting, you know, out of character. Because he just couldn't wait to point out, you know, how she should and should not carry herself as a mom. Y'all let these traditional values have y'all in a chokehold. And I've been telling you over and over again, those traditional values are not for them. They are to keep you in line and you in check. This man got up and publicly shamed the mother of his child for being non-traditional when he impregnated this woman without proposing or marrying her. That could have been a phone call or a text, a private discussion, but no, mm -mm, no. What he wanted to do was to make her look stupid in front of the world. Because what he already calculated as making her look stupid by impregnating her without giving her a ring first was not working. She was getting more brand deals. She was being more active. She was making more money than before when he thought that was going to slow her down. He feels that her light is brighter than his and he wanted to dim it. And that's why it does not pay to be with a man who does not have his shit together because he's not going to try to rise up to your, uh, your level. He's not, okay? He's not. He will be jealous of you and he will spend every ounce of his energy trying to drag you down to where he is. And if you somehow manage to build him up closer to your level, what he's going to do is he's going to resent you for that. I really wish she would have taken Steve Harvey's advice when he gave it to her, but you know, we all got to learn somewhere. And I think this is an important lesson for her to have because you can really mess up your livelihood out here dealing with these type of jealous enemy men. These types, they don't love you. They don't even like you. Matter of fact, they hate you and they hate that you are more successful than them. And your success, every win that you get is going to remind them that they are not where they want to be.